new tonight. People in the community reacting to Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett's massive budget proposal. Hogsett says he hopes more money will mean less crime. News 8's David Williams live for us tonight in downtown. And David, the people you talk to hope the money goes to the right places. Well, Phil, I talk with two different people who have different viewpoints. They feel like the city has made progress, but they also feel like there's work that still needs to be done. James Wilson is on a mission to build stronger communities. He says he believes IMPD is taking steps forward, trying and working on community connections. He wants to see a stronger emphasis on cultural connections. For instance, understanding really how the black community works. We're not always aggressive, but when you go through history and years of trauma and damage uh, with law enforcement in the community, you have to understand their interaction the moment you approach it. So when you approach it with a level of aggression, they're going to interact sometimes with level of aggression. Not because simply they don't respect your authority, authority it's just simply because the things that they've been through. Last night, Indy Mayor Joe Hawks had unveiled a massive budget proposal, $150 million over three years, directed solely to public safety. I'm asking this council to dramatically increase our anti-violence community grants, distributing $45 million over the next three years to groups who are devoted to fighting crime on our streets. If you're going to put that much money towards, you know, violence reduction, make sure you're directly putting it towards the people to be strongly affected, not just simply departments, but that money has to go directly out into the hands of the people. Brent and Randall works with At Promise Youth. They work to positively impact and enhance the lives of Indy's youth. He feels like the city could do a better job of connecting with young people. There are a lot of mentoring organizations, a lot of youth programs, um, grassroots nonprofits that do a lot of great work, uh, but we need that same energy to be uh, captured with um, the police and other um, systems and institutions. Uh, that way we can better serve our young people. Last night, Mayor Hogs had asked the council for millions of dollars over three years towards mental health programs, including in-school mental health services and violence prevention programming and youth programming. I'm excited to hear that there's a significant increase um, in a potential funding allocation for youth programming, but not just for programming, for intentional programming. So looking at, you know, the mental health and trauma and connecting the resources, I think that that is so important. Now, both Wilson and Randall say there are things you can do to help. Randall suggests volunteering at a mentoring organization, reading to kids at an elementary school, or donating school supplies. And Wilson suggests getting involved with community organizations, neighborhood associations, or nonprofits, or volunteering. And he says get involved with politics if you want to. Reporting live in downtown Indianapolis, I'm David Williams, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.